Hi guys, uh, my name is Sean and I got a H1 on Leaving Cert Maths. And in this video, we're going to be going through an axiom. So we're going to be going through axiom three, the protractor axiom. And just to remind you what an axiom is, uh, it's just an assumption you make in maths. So it doesn't have to be proven or anything. It's just something we put forward because it's logical. And we can break down this axiom into three points. So the first point states that the number of degrees in an angle is always between zero and, 100, and 360 degrees. So for instance, over here on the left, uh, we have actually two angles here we can draw. The first one is this angle here. And of course, this is a very obviously less than 360 degrees. Uh, we can also draw another angle outside like this. And this angle, this angle is also less than 360 degrees. And um, because if we remember, there's 360 degrees in a full circle. And so um, if you have 360 degrees, you know, you can't ha just have two lines anymore. It's it just doesn't work. So uh, that's point one. Point two states that the number of degrees of an ordinary angle is less than 180 degrees. So uh, we have over here in the middle, this angle here I've drawn. Uh, so this is an ordinary angle. And the reason that the definition of an ordinary angle is useful is because uh, in a triangle, there's always gonna be 180 degrees. So we can say that any angle you can possibly see in any triangle is gonna be less than 180 because the total sum of every angle in the triangle adds up to 180 exactly. So. Uh, that's kind of why that's useful. And the third and final point states that a straight angle has 180 degrees. So over here on the right, we've got a straight line. And in this straight line, we've got 180 degrees. So that's very straightforward. Um, you know, this is kind of half the 360 degrees you find in a circle. And uh, yeah, that's it for point three. And that is it for this axiom. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.